Welcome to become a better programmer and today we're going to talk about the fastest way to become a software developer. Before we move forward with this topic, I want to talk about certain things that people say oftentimes that are pretty much myths. Uh, that they think that you need to know, you need to have these this kind of things in order to, to, to become a software developer. And that's the reality is far from those things. So I'm going to talk about myth number one. And myth number one is you need to be a smart man. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Uh, yes, I know. I, I'm. I know software developer, I mean, I've learned over the years, but really, you, you don't really have to be smart. You don't have to be to top top 10 universities in this world you don't have to go to harvard you don't have to go to these ivy league universities no forget about it you just don't need it you're gonna learn in the process so just forget about it everybody does it just just forget it common myth number two is you need to be good at math certainly i, I liked math when i was at school and i was good at uh, you know uh, you know fig figuring out some some problems some math problems uh, here and there, but I wasn't the best. I was good, but I wasn't the best. Now, when it comes to software developer, that doesn't have anything to do with math. Yes, it depends on what kind of software you build, but in reality, the amount of times that you're gonna need to know uh, math, like complex functions, algorithms, or stuff like that, don't even require a lot of math. It's all about the logic. So forget about it. Do you need to be expert? at math the most that you're probably gonna be used uh, on a constant basis on, on on a daily basis it's gonna be some multiplications basic stuff so forget about becoming an expert at math the common myth that we have is that you have to have a degree in it or a software uh, related degree i don't know computer uh, science degree let me tell you in fact that's one of the slowest ways to become a software developer in reality by the time you, you you go to school and you learn all of these things i mean all of those things are going to be obsolete and the amount of things that you're going to learn on school and you're actually applying them as a software developer i mean it's, it's not going to be that much so uh, in fact i'm going to create a video about that in the future but no you don't need to have a degree in it forget about it now forget it the other common myth or, or people think that you should have is you have to have an expensive computer sure thing right now i i've had a decent decent computer it's not the most most expensive but it is is a quality computer i believe so however you, you don't really need to especially if you're a newbie like when, whenever you are to start developing software, working on your own projects in the beginning, you are not gonna need that uh, mega computer uh, that is super powerful, that has a bunch of RAM, uh, good memory, uh, storage, or I don't know, a good processor. You, you're not gonna need that. You don't need it because um, the, the kind of projects that at the beginning you're gonna work on are not gonna be that complex. Th that's the reality. I mean, as, as, you advance, as, as you advance on your career, those projects are gonna be more complex and sometimes it's just not the project in itself, it's what you work on those projects. If those projects require more computing power, then most likely, yeah, you, you will need a more powerful computer, which tends to be more expensive, but in reality, you don't really need to. In fact, most likely you already have a computer, you're watching this video from a computer or you're using somebody else's computer so you can borrow somebody else's computer and start working or you are watching this video from your smartphone, from your phone which means that nowadays affording a, a phone, a phone is, is quite pricey which means that you have, you can afford a computer so that, that should not be an excuse that that should not be an excuse at all so those were the, the myths that people would say about software developers and how to become a software developer and the fastest way to become a software developer so you don't need those things or you don't have to have a certain skill set at all in reality there's one skill set that you need to to have um but you're gonna develop it in the process which is probably solving skills so now back into the topic the fast way to become a software developer and let me tell you something and i'm sorry to disappoint you but there's no really fast track there's no magic there, there's no secret sauce there, there's no way that you can become overnight a software developer there's no really way yes people can claim themselves as software developers if they just go ahead and find a tutorial online 
follow a YouTube video online and go ahead and follow those steps. Do what whatever they are teaching them and boom, they are a software developer. Uh, in the short term, let, let's tell them that, yeah, they're becoming a software developer. In reality, they are not. They're, they're not acquiring the, the, the skill sets. They're, they're not really learning something from the things that they are really wanting to build on their own. So all in all, what I want to say is you are not going to become overnight uh, a software developer just, just all of a sudden. It takes time. It takes time. And having said that, in order to become a software developer, the fastest way is going to be the amount of time that you're going to put in to the work that that's just the reality so if you're willing to put more hours on working on whatever project you want um the whole month for i don't know 40 hours a week so let's say 40 hours 80s 160 hours uh, per month well it's gonna you're gonna probably certainly be able to 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 develop certain skill sets that or people that are uh, learning this in part time like two hours a week four hours a week eight hours a week whichever amount of time they they can devote uh, into learning that's just gonna be the reality the, the more time you put into the work uh the better um the fastest way is gonna be for you to to become a software developer and the reason why is because at the beginning some things are not gonna make sense for you and the only thing that it, it works or it could work for you is to just keep working on the same things over and over and over and over, which means that you're gonna be able to retain more information, more of that learning that you have acquired or your, your learning experience. Uh, so you're gonna retain that information and, and things are gonna start making sense quicker. So now that we know that it's gonna be the amount of time that you're gonna have to put into a project, working on a project, even if you don't know what kind of project you're gonna work on, the things that you're gonna have to do to start working on a project are have a computer and internet. That's all that you need at the moment, just to start on. If you have that, good. I'm, I bet you, you, you should have that right now. So that better not be an excuse at the moment. The other thing that you should do is to pick a programming language. There's several, several programming languages and we can go ahead and create another video for that in the future as well. But there are several, there's C Sharp, there's JavaScript, Ruby on Rails, there's Python, Golang, shoot, there's C, the, man, there, there's a lot. So just just pick any programming language. I don't care, just, just pick one. If, if you really don't know where to start or you are really lost of where to start, I totally, totally recommend you to pick JavaScript as you there are several uh, cases that you can use JavaScript. And it's, for the most part, it's easier. Uh, it's more flexible when it comes to to, to learning. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit easier in comparison to some of the, the other programming languages that forces you to, to follow a specific, more stricter uh, syntax. So pick a programming languages that, I mean, don't, don't spend a lot of time. Just pick one, go ahead. If you don't know, just pick JavaScript. Trust me, it's gonna be useful, especially in today's market. I mean, it's, it's just used for a lot of things. So that's one of the things that you have to do pick a programming language. The next thing that you should do is decide of what you want to work on. You like to be a web developer? Do you want to be a mobile app developer? Or do you want to be a game developer? What, what kind of development do you want to work on? If you want to work on something very specific, okay, in that case, I do recommend you to do a little bit of research. Don't spend a lot of time. Just do a little, do a little bit of research. Just Google what's the most common, uh, what's the, the, the programming languages that are used for game development or the programming languages that are used for web development for mobile app, mobile app development right for ios uh, app development for android app development but if you're not sure uh, go ahead with javascript javascript you, you you have a lot of possibilities with that and you can become a mobile app developer and a web developer pick that one if you are not completely sure we pick that programming language we pick uh, what kind of development we would like to work on now we need to pick a project yes Pick a project. If you are in a game development, well, start thinking about a game that you like to work on. Uh, if you are in the web development or you're interested in web development, then start thinking about what kind of applications you would like to work. It can be even as ambitious as thinking about doing your, your own YouTube, uh, your own to-do list app, that's the common, a management task software, you can think about those things. So start thinking about a project. If you're following the, the my suggestions of picking JavaScript as programming language, there are some tips that I can recommend you. I mean, 
mean you, you can literally start working on your weather app that's one of the things that you can start working on or if you are totally new you can start working on your website just develop your website from scratch you're gonna have to work on a project where it's a website a mobile app web app a game 2d game super mario game whatever just pick one i don't care just pick it even if you don't know how to do it just pick it that's the beauty of software development that you're gonna start working on stuff that you don't know how to do so we decided that now go into the next next step the next step is go ahead and find an online course related to whatever field you decided to and you can find a lot of uh, courses online available you can find one on Udemy, you can find one in Skillshare, you can find one in Coursera, you, you can find in, in free tutorials in YouTube, you can find a lot of tutorials. So the information is available, it's all about you start finding it. Another thing that you should do as well if you want to become a software developer, the fastest way is to start attending local meetups. Yes, it is important for you to start talking with the software uh, terms understanding some technology terms that you are not familiar understanding things the way things work in the industry especially in the professional level so you gotta learn from people who are industry in the industry you gotta understand them uh, you oftentimes are gonna share with you some of the, the 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 projects that they work on so you have a better understanding and a better idea of what actually goes behind to, to the software, what kind of projects people work on. And, and it's not like everybody is going to be working on, you know, on, on saving the world with a crazy app. No, just start connecting, reaching out people, start attending local meetups. It's going to help you a lot, especially if you connect with, with all developers in your area and you can pick their brain. Therefore, you're going to learn a little bit of what they are doing on a daily basis and get that experience and take that into your learning process so do that start participating in forums if you have questions doubts start posting them people are gonna right away and believe me they are gonna tell you right away if you are if something doesn't make sense if the terms that you're using are doesn't make sense if the solution that you're trying to use or the problem that you have is not the best way to do uh, or to, to approach uh in the development process people are gonna tell you believe me uh, and don't feel intimidated by that trust me people are always here to help because at some point th they were in the same shoes as you're gonna be at they were in the process of learning and they they probably went through those same mistakes that you're gonna go through so go ahead and start as well participating in forums now i saved this for the last but i think that that's the most important out of all of the things in order to become a software developer like the fastest way possible and Although I don't really want you, but do it now. Like, stop watching, stop watching a lot of videos, uh, tutorials on how to become a software developer, uh, things that you should know before becoming a. Forget about that. Just do it now. If you need to stop this freaking video, just stop it. Like, I don't care. Just do it. It's gonna be for you to do it now if you have some momentum what just keep going with that momentum you don't keep building that momentum you, just don't stagnate upon that momentum because at the end you're going, just going to spend more time about researching about how to become a software developer instead of actually doing it that's the only thing to become a software developer the only thing that you have to do is to take action and start working on it that's the only thing so that's my best tip out of all of them start doing something start taking actions the resources are sh available online and there should not be an impediment for you to start taking action today now yesterday was late already so do it now now certainly i mentioned that you should go ahead and take a long take an online course whereas udemy skillshare whatever you want to use take an online course and uh, there's one thing that i don't 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 like about it but certainly certainly it's gonna help you just to become a software developer in the meantime it's gonna be faster though and the reason why is because they're gonna teach you and you're gonna learn and you're gonna work on a project and they're, you're gonna work on a project that they are showing you it's not a project that you are working on it's not you your own project so they're gonna show you the way they do things what whatever instructor you're having and that's why 
I recommended you to pick a project and start working on that project on day one because in that way you're gonna be able to translate whatever skills they're teaching you off of those um, online courses and you're gonna be able to apply them into your uh, project I mean you're gonna be able to have to, to integrate certain things that that are similar yes but there are things that are not completely the same and it's gonna trigger you that that okay that curiosity that 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 key of finding information additional information understanding what's going on or getting a better understanding in order for you to keep moving with that project so yes that's why i did recommend you to pick an online course but at the same time i recommended you to pick a project and start working on that from day one because your personal project is the one that is going to actually help you speed up the process of learning and retaining information the information that you need in order to become a software developer and at the end uh, you don't really have to memorize things but at the end what you really need to do is to become really good at problem solving that's just the reality but in the meantime you're, you're, you're going to acquire those skills that skill set in particular throughout your whole software developer career as a junior developer as a senior 10 plus years of experience it's always a learning process of so solving challenges. So of course, challenges are gonna be simpler and then they are start getting complex, more complex. So that's at the end what what you're gonna need. But you don't have to worry so much about it because you're gonna you're gonna develop that skill set throughout the process. Thank you for watching and hopefully this video was helpful for you. I mean remember take action now, like like it's I hope you you had to stop this video. Uh, if you're watching this, it is bad. <laughs> Take action. Uh, that's the only way you, you can become a software developer. Uh, the fastest way possible, you just put a lot of hours on a project. Just do it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified for more videos about software development in the future. Um, I would like to hear from you as well if there's anything that you are interested in and I would like to, to share with you from my experience and from the things that I've learned, learned over the years as a software developer. And stay tuned for future videos and see you until the next time.